I seriously think this is over 5,000 Pokemon cards. Or maybe it's more like 10,000 Pokemon cards. I don't know the exact count. Marie, do you know? No, no. <laughs> we are currently on our way to buy one of the biggest Pokemon card collections that I have ever bought in my entire life. I mean, this collection spans from base set all the way up till now. And this person got a hold of me and said, I love what you're doing with Pokemon card library. I was thinking about parting with my collection and I would like to see if you were interested to add it to your card library. We're coming in. <laughs> I'm gonna take off my shoes right here. We have this completely empty tote. We're gonna be filling it up and uh, probably more than just the tote. Like there's gonna be a bunch. We're gonna have to get some empty boxes as well. So the famous tote is back. So are you sure you wanna get rid of your entire collection? Absolutely. So I see you were in the middle of some sorting. Yep. Right here. Oh, look at this. Got some uh, vintage promos right here. Even had a checklist over here, Evolving Skies checklist. Chilling Rain right here. What do we got inside of here? Uh, league promos. Ooh. Is this pen included? Uh, fortunately, no. <laughs> I came all the way here and I can't have the pen. <laughs> so we started loading up the tote right here. Look at this, we got some old Elite Trainer boxes, the very first ever Elite Trainer box right here. Plasma Storm with the Lugia on it. And then right here we have Plasma Blast with Genesect. So a lot of these early Elite Trainer boxes. And you said you had every every Elite Trainer box. Are all of them full with, have, with stuff? I have almost every Elite Trainer box and they are full with anything from pins to these kind of pins. Pins to these kind of pins. We got rows and rows of dividers. You got these stickers. Ooh. Nice. Some holographic. Oh, yeah, the lenticulars. Oh, Ooh, you knew the word. You knew that not a lot of people know that those, that's, those oh, are called yes. lenticulars. Check that out. There is not even a, a code on that. Now, I have some where the code is across the top where it says Pokemon.com, but I do not have any where it's just completely blank. Oh, wait, these, there, there's more? These came from the same pack. Same pack? So you got the back. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> I've never owned one of those in my life. Roaring Skies, Generations, Steam Siege, and Evolutions. Update on all the ETBs going in the tote. One of, almost every single one of them. You said Ancient Origins was missing, but this tote is filling up fast with ETBs, which most of them have something inside of them. A literal box of Elite Trainer Box dice. <laughs> okay, so you said something something special was in this. Yes. So if there is an Oracorio in here, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, rest at ease with that. So in this box, I actually have the first EX card I ever pulled. The first EX card that you ever that pulled? I ever pulled. In your entire life. Do you remember what year? The year the set was released? Pretty close to it. It was new when I pulled it. You even have it labeled up there. My first EX. Yep. Wow. And now, all these years later, we're back at the small, small letter EX cards. <laughs> it is opened, but the Power Reserve Jungle theme deck right here. The cards are still inside of it. The coin is inside of it as well. So Kangaskhan's still in there? The Kangaskhan's in the collection, but it is okay. in the fashion. So technically Kangaskhan is still here. All these years later, this looks like you just opened it up like two hours ago. <laughs> so in this box, we have sets. So we got, what was that, Brilliant Stars? Or no, Battle Styles to Fusion Strike. And you can see it's kind of separated in here. Ultra Rares, you can see the kind of the Ultra Rares scattered throughout the box. Okay, so we have a box of trainer kits right here. Now this one doesn't match up with this box, but you said it was the Latios Latias? Yes. Nice, look at you can see the logo right down there in the corner for both of them. You remember what year that came out? 2004. 2000. You cheated. You looked at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Those are in nice condition, too. X and Y and Sun and Moon. So the, these you can know they came from the cereal because I kept them with the foil ones. Yeah. So they weren't in the actual packs. They were from the cereal packs. I think this one was like 2018, I want to say, maybe for that one. One thing that I didn't expect here in the collection is a bunch of the old vintage Pokemon Tops cards. Is this a complete set? It's pretty close. Not quite, though. Can we find the Psyduck? Please tell me you have Psyduck in here. 
Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, so this is the old Shining Legends box, which if you remember, we just went to an auction recently and got a sealed one of that. And this is base set to Steam Siege. I see what you did there with the two, the little Pokeball. All of these are full is what you're telling me. Correct. So I'm gonna open up this one, just kind of randomly here. Obviously a little bit later in the video, we're gonna go more in depth with a lot of this stuff. We got Blastoise EX right there. Weedle. This is literally like Blast from the past. Rayquaza, 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 Rayquaza. We got Crystal Guardians, Reverse Hollow. I love when they put the logo right there and the artwork for the Reverse Hollows. Oh, Legend Maker. We got the bottom half of the Ho-Oh <laughs> Legend, which... Now this other box is inside of the Dragon Majesty premium box right here. We got Steam Siege to Battle Styles. Check some randomness. We got Dragonite, GX, Greedy Dice. We got, uh, is all this in like uh, set order? It is, these are these are my main sets. Take a random one. We got Colossal V Max. More Pico, more Peco V. Update, this is where we're at right here. Boxes and boxes, just, I thought one tote was gonna be enough. I was completely wrong. Check it out, original. Pokemon TCG Playmat. It's got some tips right there as well. That's a lot going on. We got Meowth, that classic Meowth artwork right down there in the corner. Professor Oak hanging out right over there. And then on the other side, you got the prizes over there. You got your bench right down there. Turn sequence. So I see you did some decorating here. A little bit. On this binder. And inside we have what exactly? Japanese. Ooh. Is this an entire set? It is close. I'm missing a few of the full arts. Wow, that is awesome. We got binders and binders to pull out here. Pick, just pick one random binder and uh, let's just show the contents of it really fast. So we got, is this Sun and Moon? Sun and Moon base set? Yeah, Crimson Invasion. Or Crimson Invasion, okay. Almost a complete set. Pretty close. And we get to the fun part. Oh, look at that. Alolan Executor GX full art. We got Lusamine, Olivia right down there. Gold upon gold in this binder. So we got binders off of the shelf. Tons, but there's one that's been picked out. In particular, this binder right here. So what, what exactly is inside of this binder? So these are some of the most dearest cards to me because they were the Black Star promo cards. So it was very tricky to collect these. Next page, look at that. Birthday Pikachu right there. And Dark Persian, the Mewtwo. That one came in the VHS, if I think I remember correctly. This one was Nintendo Power Magazine. Pichu down there, Entei, Ancient Mew. I remember waiting in line for that Ancient Mew thinking that they were gonna sell out. Cause I remember I was at like at the end of the line in the very back of the parking lot, thinking they're gonna run out of them. They're gonna run out of them, but no, they had plenty. They had a million. And then this one is from a mutual friend. Yes, yes. He gave me this because he knew I was chasing these at one point. So this is from the Pokemon Center opening in New York. We got Groudon EX, Zapdos EX up there, Dialga, Wobbuffet, Lugia, I love that Lugia. We got a lot on this page. Entei, Suicune, Raikou. As the generations go on, you see the cards kind of change a little bit. So the Jeep is filled up right now. We even had to put the seats down because there's so much. This tote is completely full. It is nighttime outside. We got here during the day. I mean, like I said, we put the seats down, so it, it stuff is on the floor, it is stacked up. Definitely the Pokemon card library getting a big update. But even though all this stuff is in the Jeep, the deal is not official yet. Do we have ourselves a deal? Deal. It's a deal, all right, <laughs> it's official. <laughs> but wait, that's not all. We have cleared the table now. There is a lot, as you see on your screen. We're not gonna be able to go through every single Pokemon card, especially the bulk. So we won't be going through the bulk today. We'll be going through some of the binders and we'll be adding cards to the Pokemon card library. But first, let's start off with this box right here. And inside of this box, he was very, very, very uh, good at organizing his Pokemon cards. So inside of this box, it goes from base set two all the way up to Steam Siege. Yes, all the way up to Steam Siege. So if we look inside of here, you can see that the, I think almost all of them are sleeved. Yeah, look at that. We got base set nine tails, 
right there. So if I just go ahead and take out a stack, look at this, we got base set two, Magneton, Ninetales, Wigglytuff, Pidgeotto, Seeking, Pokeball, and they're in order. See, so a pre-release for Misty Seedra, kind of jumping around, but here is the reverse hollows from Legendary Collection. Look at that, oh Magneton. Goodness. Easily, to this day, I would still say some of the best reverse hollows that the Pokemon TCG has ever had. Took out just another big chunk. Oh, look at that, more Legendary Collection reverse hollows. It's so well organized. I mean, look at that, Hollow Lunatone. Oh, oh, two Espeons. Oh, oh. We got Golduck right there, Kecleon, Umbreon. Just took out another random chunk over here. We got Reverse Hollow Cloister, but I'm trying my best to not uh, take these out of order because I want to make it uh, super simple when we add them to... Oh, nice, Ooh. Clefable EX. When we add them to the Pokemon... Electrode EX, okay. back to back. <laughs> when we add them to the Pokemon card library, like I said, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a long a long while uh, <laughs> here got, on the channel. We got time. We got we got uh, plenty of time, but you're gonna be seeing stories like this. We're gonna go around to collections, uh, hopefully get some stuff like we just did today, do some trades, listen to some stories when we go out and about. I got this from I uh, got this collection from one of my uh, friends that I have known for a very, very long time. He's been collecting literally since the Pokemon TCG started. There's cards spanning every single generation uh, for the Pokemon TCG. I mean, it's just absolutely, absolutely wild. Obviously, like I said, I know we're not going through every single card. If we did that, we would literally be here forever. <laughs> forever. I mean, all, all the way up here, Going into like Fates Collide. We got a Hoopa EX. Mega Tyranitar. Mega Requaza 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 Requaza. All right. Let's check out. This is just a box full of random stuff. This is like an original playmat right here. It's in really nice condition too. Look at this. Oh, now this was from a Nintendo Power. Over here, you can see Nintendo Power right there on our little magazine rack here is a pokemon center bag so inside of here it was actually almost like a binder so oh, really? yeah so it had it had the cards in here and you can see the little spots oh, you where can you slide them in there yeah where you can put uh -huh. your card in there so this was like a little pokemon card your own little miniature pokemon card library if you will crimson invasion sun and moon base set these right here I know we did a video on these yes. here on the channel. You remember this? I do. They handed these out at GameStop way back in the day. I don't want to say way back in the day. It was like 2019. <laughs> yeah, 2019. <laughs> way back in the day. Let's do a flashback really fast. And there's today's target right down there, GameStop. Let's see what is inside. Okay, trading card breakdown. Here is the activity sheet, I assume. Is it something exclusive? Okay, so it is a Zorart coin that you can see right there. Here is our... Are you serious? But this one right here is still sealed. It came with an activity sheet. Three, uh, a one three card mini pack, one Pokemon coin, and one trading guide. So it was actually a dollar store pack in here. Uh, I remember going and getting this box right here at the store, which I believe we might be able to do a flashback of that as well. I already see it right there. There is one sitting right here. This is the only one that they have. Literally cannot fit it on the downward facing cam. You can see right now that I am trying to fit it in there. Wowzer, take a look at this play mat. This is from the Dragon Majesty uh, premium box as well. That's where that play mat came from. We actually have some of the very first league badges. You can see the age on them. Right. You can see the age a little bit. Uh, they're a little bit yellow. And then I believe he said that these were all sealed. As you can tell, he was definitely trying to get a complete set of Pokemon <laughs> stuff by going to McDonald's. We got another box right here that goes from, oh my goodness, Steam Siege to Battle Styles. Pretty much one of every type of energy what? inside of this box. Yeah, one of almost like every type of energy. So if we start off at like, let's say, I don't know, um, name, a, name a, a type for me here. Uh, that's like it. Psychic. Oh, that's exactly what I was thinking too. Psychic. Okay. If you just go through this, you can see kind of the evolution of energies. Fairy was very short lived. Let's just take a look at the evolution of fairy energies. Now it's not going to be a huge difference because oh, nice. 
uh, because Fairy was not around super, super long. Let's move into this next Pokemon mystery box, I believe. This might be one of the only sealed products. The Celebrations box right here, which I believe, very shiny. I believe the metal cards are still in here. One pack as well. Yeah, there we go. We got the Charizard and we have the Pikachu as well. This is another poster and this is Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh, so many Pokemon on one poster. Elite Trainer Box Booklet, Team Siege, Fates Collide, Generations, Breakpoint. I mean, this goes back to literally the very first ever Elite Trainer Box. Look, Phantom Forces. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Got all the cards. That is, now this I want to get framed. This is, you'll see this card a little bit later, but right here there was a pack on the back. This was like the Easter Pikachu. Uh, that was only available in Japan, but this was just like a little activity book for the 10 year anniversary. Look at that, that sticker. There's a lot going on in here. Right? This is really well preserved. Now need a Pokemon Badge Master maker in my life. No, you don't. Yes, I do, I've always wanted one. We got a black and white manga sampler right Ooh. here. Giving you a little bit of a, a, a taste of what the Pokemon manga was like at that time. Once again, in perfect condition. And then we have jumbo cards right here. This is the original size jumbo card. You can see that the, the, the sizes have been changed. Once they got to the Sword and Shield era, the sizes got a little bit smaller for jumbo cards, but here is the uh, kind of like original size. Look at that right there. <laughs> that is a classic. Oh, look at that, both of them. <laughs> that is a classic jumbo card right there. Okay. Oh, 1,000, 1,000 damage. <laughs> Going into this box, much like the first one, this is Steam Siege 2 Battle Style. So I'll just show you a few stacks. Uh, boom, there we go. Volcanion mm -hmm. EX. We got Steelix EX, Nigerna. Pokemon Ranger, Power Ranger, uh, Professor Sycamore. We got the Secret Rare Volcanion EX. Now we're kind of starting to get into the Sword and Shield era right here with this stuff. Now, you might be thinking we just skipped like almost a whole era, right? A whole generation, Sun and Moon. A lot of that is in binders. Now this is just some of the binders. I picked out some of the more unique ones. The other ones are set by set. But I just picked out some of the unique ones right here. And this one, this one in particular, is a Pikachu binder. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I can see that there's a Pikachu right there on the cover. I know! Inside, there is nothing but Bidoofs. No, it's all Psyducks. <laughs> no, it's all Pikachu. This is just all Pikachus inside of this binder. I mean, and I, I, I can't say it's every Pikachu, because I know he said it's not every Pikachu, but it's a good majority of them. Look at that, we got Reverse Hollow Emerald right there. What I like about this one, I actually did not have this one in my collection. That one has the E3 logo. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to E3 before. Uh, it's like kind of the video game expo, but there is the E3 logo right there on the side. I kind of like look through the eras, Delta Species, Pikachu right there at the very top. Now this one, this one just kind of looks like a normal Pikachu, but this is actually a secret rare Pikachu from the black and white era. Look at the number right down there at the very bottom, if you can even see it, Ooh, but it is, it is a secret rare right here. So if you're looking for a secret rare Pikachu in your collection, I would highly recommend this one. We got the Pikachu EX right down here. We have the Toys R Us Pikachu. You remember going to Toys R Us getting those though, right? Yes, I do. That I know you do remember. The Ashes Pikachus, yes, you were able to get those through like different kind of locations as well. And then I can't wait to show you some of the other ones. I know these are upside down, but you can kind of look look around there on that one. And now uh, this one is actually a ditto. That actually is. That one actually is a ditto. Uh, but we have the tops trading cards, two different versions. Back here, we have some Japanese cards, but my favorite on this page, the Magikarp and the Gyarados, like the cosplay, the cosplay Magikarp and Gyarados of the Pikachu. It's technically a Pikachu, not a Magikarp and Gyarados. Right but it's Pikachu dressed up as a Magikarp and a Gyarados. Take a look at that. Is that not beautiful or what? And then right down here is that Easter uh, uh, Pikachu that I was telling you about. I was kind of staring at it. Yeah, you can see that it says Easter right there on it. That, that, that logo. So cute. 
And then right up here, we have the Battle Fiesta Pikachu as well. And of course, you got Ash's Pikachu Level X. And then we got some more Japanese Pikachu cards. That one's so cool. And that one is a nice one. And this binder was some of his favorite artworks, right? Some of his favorite artworks some of his favorite Pokemon inside of this binder. And that's all this binder was, was just, just dedicated to these specific Pokemon. He always talks about this one. He loves Blaine's Vulpix. We got that Lantern from Legend Maker. You can see the little Legend Maker logo. And then we got the sad, sad Omanyte. With all on his own page. The one tier. Oh my. Now with these next few ones, we're actually going into promos. This is Black Star promos right here. Some of the very first promo Pokemon cards, and you can see they're all in order, right? Including the Psyduck. Don't forget the Psyduck. We got the birthday Pikachu right over there. We got the cool Porygon on that other page. I mean, this is literally just so much nostalgia. We are moving on to the XY promos, and uh, I'm not gonna go through the entire binder, but things are in order. I don't have my XY binder put together, my XY promo binder put together, so this binder is actually really, really going to help me out because it's already... <laughs> it's already built. We got a Manaphy down there, Victini. Up here we see the Mew, the Darkrai, the Genesect. Oh, we gotta show this page. We have to show this page. This yeah. is really... <laughs> Really neat. I remember when this box was released. Can you guess what's next? Uh, XY, Sun and Moon. Boom! Sun and Moon promos inside of this binder, which is also great because I do not have my Sun and Moon promo binder put together either. Surprise! So there are some missing. I might have those in my collection. Possibly, maybe, I don't know. Detective Pikachu, the Psyducks right over there. This one I don't really need to show you too much of because I actually just showed you my binder build of the Sword and Shield era. So this entire binder is nothing but Sword and Shield promos. Now, there might be a few in here that I need for my collection, but I feel like we might have a lot of duplicates. Now this next one is just, it's pretty. And then another random binder that I'll just kind of show you, I mean, look. Look at the hollow foil pattern on all of these cards. Obviously, these are the Japanese versions right here, but almost an entire set. Almost an entire set. Look at that. That Mew EX. This is all just so beautiful, so well organized at the same time. Next, we're moving on to Elite Trainer Boxes. Some of the stuff that is inside of them, some of them have bulk, some of them don't. Some of them have stuff like this that I'm about to show you. I've picked out some of the more unique items to show you, Breaking Family. And uh, look at this, pre-release boxes, Plasma Storm, Plasma Freeze. You can see the little pre-release logo. There is a ton of pre-release boxes. <laughs> Dark Explorers, Next Destinies. I mean, look at the artwork. You remember like the collection boxes just used to have figures all the time inside of them. Look at this, Pikachu and the Eevee. And now it's like, I think last year in 20, what year are we in, 2023? Yeah. <laughs> last year in 2022, there was only one figure box, which jumbo cards are neat, but I would much rather have the figures, oh, right? Yeah. This Eevee figure. Now, do you remember, do you remember where this came from? <laughs> Toys R Us, okay. <laughs> Toys R Us. Yeah, this was uh, handed out for free oh. at Toys R Us. We actually went and got one uh, when it came out. I think it's just a Pokeball. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to open it up. I actually don't have that one in the collection, so that, that one's gonna be really cool. That's a, that's a nice one. I like it on the on the little tree stump right there. We have sleeves, literally sleeves for every elite trainer box ever. Now this is not all the sleeves. I just picked out some of the older ones. What about this? Oh, we're talking old right there. The rule book teach you how to play. I like the font. The rule book. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's very '90s, right? <laughs> very '90s. Uh, we got these classic little—I don't want to say classic. This was back in mid 2015. Okay. <laughs> I just don't remember the the year. Oh, there's the Mew. One of the other things that he asked if I if I wanted, and I said yeah. So he made these. Uh, this is real wrappers, real uh, you know Pokemon pack wrappers wrapped around a top loader. So That's a way to preserve them. That's I know. Sure. Look at that emerald right there. Oh, wow. Next Destinies, Crystal Guardians. Oh. oh, that's pretty. Unseen Forces, Emerald again. 
I mean, this is kind oh, of a neat actually... a neat way to preserve the booster packs, right? I think so, because I know, like, we will sometimes hold on to Yeah, them. Holland Phantoms. And then, of course, what would be buying somebody's Pokemon collection without code cards? No. <laughs> lots and lots of unused code cards. Now, let's see if we can just kind of give you a random one. Here we go. Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest again in that one. Brilliant stars. Brilliant stars. Next up, if you can't tell, we're moving on to the Pokemon card binders. Now, each binder represents a different set. I'm not going to show you every single binder, but we are going to add some cards to the Pokemon card library. I just wanted to show you this binder really quick because this is full of a lot of the McDonald's cards. You can see the McDonald's logo right there, and I just thought that was kind of a neat one to show you. Psyduck right down there. I love the hollow foil pattern of the McDonald's cards, but I just thought that was a neat uh, binder to show you. Look at this, a complete 25th anniversary McDonald's set. And then I just wanted to show you the Hidden Fates binder. Even though we have a complete Hidden Fates set, I thought you might be interested to see the Hidden Fates binder easily. A very, very popular Pokemon set. We got the shiny Espeon right over there. Now all of this is going to be double, so some of this will end up in my trade binder for when I go to Pokemon, my local Pokemon League. We got Glaceon right down there. Greninja. I don't want to talk about Greninja. It's been 772 days since we started this journey. Ah! Now we got Umbreon, Sylveon. I mean, just lots and lots of good shiny Pokemon cards inside of this binder. And now we're handpicking 10 different Pokemon sets from the official Pokemon card library. And here's those same 10 sets from the collection that we just acquired. Let's see if we can add anything in. Starting off with Pokemon Generations, the binder on the left is from the collection we just acquired, and then the binder on the right is from our official Pokemon card library. And I already see a card that we need, so we are officially transferring over the Venusaur EX into the Pokemon card library. Whoop. Now, we are going to go back through, get some of the commons and uncommons, uh, added into this binder. One thing you'll notice that he did differently in his binders is that he puts a spot separately for regular and then reverse hollow. Whereas I, when I build my binder, I just put the reverse hollow on top of the regular version. You can see right here with the Metapod, regular Metapod, reverse hollow Metapod right there. Leafeon EX officially being transferred over as well. We are on a roll right now. Look at that, Articuno. This is like a full art. Articuno right here. It's not an EX, just an Articuno. We'll put that whoop, just so we can complete the evolution line, moving Charmeleon right over here. I think we might complete these Radiance. We got Shroomish going right here. This page is complete. We got Gulpin, which is done by none other than Tomokazu Kamiya, my favorite artist of all time. Moving the Esper over as well. LeBebe going in the binder. Floral crown. And that right there actually completes all the Radiance from Generations. Lost Thunder. We're adding actually the Sceptile GX and this Verizon Wireless GX. Full arts, both of those going into the Lost Thunder binder that will go into the Pokemon card library. Next up, we have Blaspalon GX, which I feel like it's been a while since Blaspalon has had a card. And we got Suicune going into the Lost Thunder Pokemon card binder. Now we do already have the Judge, so it's good to have another one, a very, very playable card right now in the competitive scene. However, this is a full art trainer that we need right down here. And I don't know off the top of my head, but if you know, what card is missing right there? I don't have the list on me, but what card is missing? Let me know down in the comments. We do need the Rainbow Rare Tyranitar GX going right beside the Genesect. Rainbow Rare Mimikyu GX, which was Mimikyu's very first Rainbow Rare ever. We got Gold Electro Power going in the binder. Had to turn the page. And two more golds going in the Lost Thunder binder. That one's getting pretty close to complete. Still need a lot of rainbows, I feel like, but that's that's pretty good, honestly. We got the Guardians Rising binder next, and I've already spotted this Turtonator GX full art that we're gonna add to the library. I think we just hit the jackpot. All three of these in a row, we need all three of them for the library binder right here. We got Wishy Washy, Vicavolt GX, Apu Coco GX. Jackpot once again, all three of these 
are gonna be added to the binder. So skip a spot. Metagross, Sylveon, GX. Come on, oh, 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 GX. Rainbow Incineroar officially getting a spot inside of the Guardians Rising binder. Rainbow Alolan Ninetales GX. Adding in Rainbow Tapu Coco, Toxapak, and Rainbow Tapu Lele GX, a card that was just in every competitive deck. Rainbow Sylveon GX, and the Rainbow, come on, oh, 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 oh. How about some gold for the Guardians Rising binder? Going in these two spots right here, this is actually, <laughs> we're, we're like almost completing the set. I'm loving this. How about some gold energies into the binder? Literally all three of them. Marie, this is your favorite set. Up next, we're talking Burning Shadows. What? <laughs> I know, you've been sorting a lot of Burning Shadows oh lately. God, it's never ending. <laughs> but we do need this full art trainer right over here. You can see we already have a lot of Burning Shadows. Spent a lot of time trying to pull that Charizard GX, which we do right there. Rainbow Rare Charizard GX that I got from a clearance three pack of Burning Shadows at Burlington. <laughs> what I'm most excited about with this Machamp GX is that it literally completes this page. Escape Rope is always useful in the Pokemon TCG. Now this is really neat. We were missing one secret rare energy. And here it is, the only one in the binder going right over here to the other side, officially adding to the Burning Shadows Pokemon card binder. And take a look right there. Three missing right there two missing right there and then we're talking a 100 complete burning shadow set now this next pokemon set we are forbidden to talk about it i might shine some light on what what binder we're going into next uh if we get a lot of cards that we need for this set full art lucario gx going right over here Beside the Zygarde. Full Art Dialga GX going right over here below the Lucario. Two more Full Art Trainers being transferred over into the set that we are forbidden to talk about, but we are getting a lot of cards that we need, so I might shine some light on this situation here very, very soon. We're talking five Rainbow Rares being added in to the binder. Nagata Doll GX. We got the Lucario GX right here as well. We got Evil Tall going right up here. Dialga going right beside that one. And we got the Xerneas GX as well. Going into the Gold Trainers, we got Beast Ring going right there. And then another one, but wait, we got one more. One more, we got the Unit Energy. Shine some light. On this situation here, this is forbidden light. If you didn't, no. yeah, it's for it's forbidden I had no light. Idea. I couldn't yeah, tell. well, the set was forbidden to talk about. Marie, can I have a high five? Team up. That's right. Teamwork. Team up. We got Incineroar GX full art right over here on this last page. Look at that. Gengar, Mimikyu, alternate art, easily, easily one of the best alternate arts they've ever made. Now, unfortunately, I am still missing the alternate art Magikarp and Whale Lord, but we did get the Rainbow Rare in this collection, but we now are adding it to the library. If you want to take a look at what we have in the Team Up binder, we are missing a few right here and then a few right there as well. Sun and Moon base set. We got the Espeon GX that we need right here. Going in the binder. And then we need the Lunala. And then we need the Umbreon Rainbow Rare, which is I'm gonna go right beside the Lunala. I like when it's just nice and simple like right. that. This next one, I'm not really gonna talk about. Don't wanna talk about it at all because if I, if I mention it, then you, you know who. You He's know gonna who so is going to want to participate in the video just because they heard Tauros. We got the gold nest ball, which obviously very playable right now in the competitive TCG. And then last but not least, we got the psychic energy. And here is our sun and moon base set binder. Still need a few more in this one as well, but a lot closer to a complete Sun and Moon Binder. Set number eight out of 10 that we handpicked, Crimson Invasion. We got Alolan Golem GX Full Art, which is gonna transfer right over into the Crimson Invasion Pokemon card binder right beside Gyarados GX. Good news, we are finishing a page 
in the binder. I'm grabbing all three of them. And we got Ultra Beast Goodness Galore right here with the Buzzwall as well. And we got the Silvalli GX, but that completes this page right here. And a double Silvalli situation with the Rainbow Rare version. And then, of course, ending on gold. The two spots that were missing gold, we happen to complete those. But still, still a lot missing on this page right here for our Crimson Invasion binder. But that that is complete so i would say we're not too far off complete crimson invasion binder now it's been storming a lot outside lately because you see what i'm has it not though yeah i mean it has but did you have to the celestial storm is up next we need the articuno the electrode and the bayonet gx so i'm going to get all three of these out of the binder articuno gx in this spot we got electrode gx in that spot and then we got bayonet GX in that spot. And of course, Celestial Storm had the Rayquaza, 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 Rayquaza card inside of it. Full art and a rainbow. Rainbow is a very sought after one. And we actually do have that one in the binder. I'll just flip the page right over there. And there happens to be one in this binder too. So that one's eventually going to be for trade in my trade binder for when we go to Pokemon League. How about Apricorn Maker makes its way into the library. You see what I did there? Apricorn Maker makes its way into the binder. So for Rainbow Rares, this is the only one that we're going to be adding in. I feel like we've been adding in a lot of Rainbow Rares from all for, for all the binders, but that's the only one we need in this set. And Gold Acro Bike is the last one added in. So here is our Celestial Storm binder if you want to see what we have, what we are missing. I need you to look through this entire video and tell me the one card that you just absolutely loved seeing down in the comment section. And if I see that you commented your favorite card, I want to know you made it all the way to the very end of today's video. And I want to thank you so, so very, very much for watching today. And then last but not least, we are ending on an ultra, an ultra good set. We're talking Ultra Prism. Now, the reason we're ending on Ultra Prism is because Ultra Prism was a very special set to him, and I wanted to end on that one. And this could potentially be the moment where we get a 100% complete Ultra Prism set. Let's find out. Leafeon, GX, we got Zerka Tree as well, and then going over here to Dusk Main Necrozma. Now, this will 100% complete this page. Maybe not necessarily the entire binder, but it will complete this page right here. Now, remember, we might potentially have a 100% Ultra Prism complete set by the end of this video. The two full arts that we are missing from this binder, Cynthia and Gardenia, going over here to Ultra Prism, and this page is complete. Now, we even have an extra Lily after acquiring this collection because there's a Lily right there. We have an extra Lana and Looker as well. Evolutions is up next with Leafeon and Glaceon. Moving right over here. So Leafeon is going right here. And then Glaceon right on the other side. Rainbow Zerka Tree GX being transferred over. This is, this is becoming intense, Breaking Family. Rainbow Dialga and Rainbow Palkia. Gold Escape Board. I want to try my best not to make the joke. Missing Clover. I was missing it, though. Peaking Red Card. But you see, with the Missing Clover, I was it says missing in the title. I was actually missing that card. And Breaking Family, the Lunala GX. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we are still missing one, two, three, four cards left for Ultra Prism. So close. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, we love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.